Hi everyone. Um, I'm here today with Peter and we're gonna That's be. That's me. Okay, when I'm talking, <laughs> totally <laughs> throw me. Hi everyone. I'm here today with Peter, my partner, and we're gonna be answering some of your questions that you asked us. Um, on my Instagram. If you're not following on my Instagram, you might as well go and follow. And um, we're super excited. Do you want to say something? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Peter. <laughs> I skewed her. Uh, yeah. So, like, at, at competitions, when you're like more. <laughs> you're No, 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 no. You're horrible. Axel, yeah, you're like. I think it maybe stopped me and spreading so much. <laughs> So, someone asked, having been partners for a bit now, how does it help when one of you is down during competitions? Um, yeah, so at competitions I find that actually, I don't think I get as visually stressed. And at this point, with knowing each other for so long, we know what we do when we're stressed and when we're competing. So if you need to like, you need to ask me the questions like, are you okay? Are you doing fine? Is everything okay? That's just, that's like just before we start. Yeah, exactly. But that's what you do. And now that I know that you do that every single time, it's like super easy. Mm -hmm. But the first time we competed, I was like super freaked out because... What are you saying? Yeah, I didn't know why you were asking me so many questions, but... And you, you're just quite, you're actually quite chill at competition. I don't talk. That's the thing. Like, you know, I get nervous because I stop talking. She goes mute. Yes. Second question is, yeah. what are your favorite elements? Nadia. Yeah. Oh, are you just choosing randomly? Okay. Yeah, I was going to. Um, probably somewhere in between like pattern dances and step sequences. Yeah, surprisingly, we like step sequences. Um, just because it's one of those, it's technically a difficult element, you know, to get all the turns called. But you can have fun with it. Yeah, it's challenging, but also like artistic. You can like, do some arms. And... So next question is somebody asked, tell us one weird thing about each other. Okay, one of the weird things that you have, it's not that oh, you have. do, is like you, he has like five same colored t-shirts, the blue t-shirts. And for the longest time, he would wear them like back to back. And I was like, why are you wearing the same t-shirt? He's like, it's not the same t-shirt. I'm like, yes, it is. He's like, no, I have multiple, multiple and, same t-shirts. It, it took us to move house for you to actually realize when you saw that like, all. Yeah, like, he actually has like multiple <laughs> same t-shirts. A couple of blue ones, yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with blue? You know, yeah, nothing is wrong with blue. I'm just saying it's weird that you have multiple same t-shirts. Okay. Uh, one weird thing about Nadia, I wouldn't say it's weird i would just say how your obsession with coffee <laughs> oh well it's a... every conversation starter you have is usually like how many coffees you had today or you know like if we have an off ice class usually you know and, and the teacher asks how nadia how are you feeling today she's like i'm good i have four or five maybe three coffees you know no that's oh you mean nick when nick, nick alex we had Alex the other day. Well, because I was coming from work. When I'm working, I have to have a lot of coffee. It's like part of my job. Mm -hmm. Question number, what is it? Three? It doesn't matter, just, just say four? next question. I don't know. <laughs> question four. Uh, do you guys often fight? Oh, actually a lot of people ask us this because like, <laughs> let's put them like a lot of people ask us this. And I think it's funny because do we fight? We fight, but I wouldn't call them fights. I wouldn't say it as in like yeah, physical no. fighting. No, well, duh. Um, it's but... only one way. <laughs> I just physically. Yes. Anyways, um, no, we don't fight, but we have Disputes. like yeah, well, like because I mean, it's if you don't argue with your partner, that's just like what are you doing? Like you have to have disagreements. Mm -hmm. But we. You always come to. We always come to a conversation. Yeah, we like. I for me, like it's very important to communicate. So I think we, we, the one, the times when we have arguments is when one of us can't communicate. On it's the usually when we don't understand what each other yeah. is, which yeah. is usually how an argument goes. But yeah, like, you know, it's misunderstanding most of the time. But like we understand that it is a misunderstanding yeah. in the first place. So we don't usually have big fights. With how close we are, like been living together before, mm -hmm. we actually didn't have any fights at home. Because we ever spoke to each other. Well, that's the thing. Like, we know our boundaries and stuff like that. And then when it comes to resolving an argument, because a lot of people also ask that, um, I'd say we're pretty quick. Like, we don't stay angry at each other. We usually turn it into a joke of some sort, you know? Not really. I never find it funny. 
but I just, you know, eventually let it go. You know that I can still see Oh, you can face. still see me, oh. Okay, anyways, next question. So, next question, somebody asked, how did it feel to podium at Junior Worlds alongside Natalie and Bruce? Uh, overwhelmed is an understatement. Yeah, I, okay, so, first of all, like, obviously we were so, so happy to be on, on a podium. Um, I don't and know. We said we were, like, as, like, the three teams, I'd say, us, Nat and Bruce, and Una and Gage, we were, like, all a really, like, sort of tight-knit group of friends. So, like, outside the competition or, you know... In between, we'd, we'd always like socialize, we wouldn't yeah. sort of. But what are you be trying to distant. say? Um, so I'd say it was nice to be, be with side. your friends, yeah. Yeah, be alongside. That is true. I just say, like, I think the feeling wise, like, I was just feeling proud because of what we had to pull. Like, I don't know if any of you know what we had to do before Worlds last year. Actually, it was this year, but like, you mean last season. Last season. Yeah, so with. The war in Ukraine, we, I mean, I did not want to skate to the Soviet Union folk music that we had because it just felt wrong and you respected my yeah. opinion and like you really respected that and we decided to go back to the old music, but we did not keep the old program, we changed it. So we choreographed. It was a mixture of yeah. this past season's seasons freelance and the past season's freelance yeah. put it together. We choreographed it in like less than a month and then trained yeah, it weeks. in like those weeks and then we competed and skated clean and medaled so like it was I was just I just think I was proud of what we did. Yeah. And obviously what you said it was nice being with your friends. Who are your favorite skaters from each discipline? Mm, that's a hard one. You go first. So from each discipline, oof. I'd say... Let's yeah. start with pairs and I'll say pairs too. Okay, okay. So for me with the pairs, I I really like the, the intensity and the connection of the Italian team that came second <clears throat> at Skate Canada. Oh my gosh, they're really good actually. actually Sarah Conti and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, their skating skills. Yeah. They're like ice dancers, but it pairs. It intense and yeah. It's really good. I agree with that. Okay. I, but personally for me, Love I think, shot. I think personally for me, it would be Aliona Sevchenko and Bruno Mazzotti. Oh, men's. Men's, okay. Uh, I would say, I was a huge fan of Patrick Chan. Me too. Me too. Not, me too. Not He's to on be, my list. Not to be all Canadian-y. No, 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 but still, like, he's but, iconic. Yeah. And Jason Brown. Yeah. The skating skills. Skating skills yeah. and just performance. As an ice dancer, I can watch him go, yes. Yeah. What about, what about ladies? This is a hard one. Ladies. I have to say, what like, was her name? Kostanaya. Yeah. She was... Yes, good, very good. good skating skills. I like Medvedeva too. She's yeah. always, I always liked her programs. I like Luana Hendricks at the moment. She's on fire. Oh, I love Luana. She's very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Ice dance. Ice dance. Ooh. Where, where, where to go? Okay, 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 okay. For me, um, Meryl Davis's upper body, uh, Piper's facial expressions, Hawaii's, uh, what, what's her name? What's her first Hawaii, name? Caitlin Hawaii. Caitlin Hawaii, her skating skills are perfect. And then Tessa is the whole package, obviously. So when you, when it said like ice dance, you-, you I don't usually girls. look at boys, <laughs> unfortunately. I would not. say like the Canadian teams that we have this year, the top three, you know. Marsh and Zach. Yeah, it's a shame that we couldn't get three spots at Worlds. You know, for them all to get a spot. I like to um, test on Scott's hip hip chin chin. Yeah. Like, that, if, if I was thinking just program, it just pops up into my head, that program. Do you think you'll ever fall in love with each other in the future from your bond? <laughs> um, well, I'd say, like, personally, if we're talking near future, probably very much no. <laughs> I think that's the problem, because we are so... We're ex like too close, like yeah. close beyond the liking each other part. And I wouldn't call our relationship like brother and sister because the things that we talk about also are not very oh, brother sister like. Yeah. So I think it's kind of like it's just all over the place. But we're. I'd say it's there's different types of love, you know. 
like in in the sense of there's lovers like brother and sister there's lovers in like a relationship romantic Rom romance love yeah but then uh, as is the sort of between that professional right? like right? A professional you know because the time when we go on the ice and like it's like it's it's the art that we create like we portray the love and you know the romance we want to do that yeah so that's just kind of like you know it's hard to say it's so next question uh, we have what is the best thing about training at Scarborough? God, you need to start acting normal. I'm trying to like to present here. Um, In the sky, <laughs> with forecast. Probably skating together with Piper and Paul and Mom and Dean and Karen Shane. Obviously, it's a tight knit group. That's yeah, what I'd say. You know? Family. It's more of a family than anything else. Um, that's what we. Well, I say we <laughs> as in. Yeah. But what's the best part of being here, though? The best part about being here? Yeah, probably that's exactly what we're going with. Like how the ice much is nice. The family, the there family feeling. <laughs> Somebody asked us if we prefer pattern or no pattern. In my very humble opinion, I think that I don't really have a place to say that because I've only ever done pattern dances mm -hmm. and. I like it, like we said previously, we do like the challenge of pattern. It's nice because you can compare different teams based on their pattern. You know? Yeah, it's, it's difficult and that's the specialty of ice dance is the pattern dances. Nobody else in every other discipline does pattern dances. Um, so I think it's a 50-50. It's a mm -hmm. Once we will do a senior program with no pattern dance, we might have something to say about that. Yeah. But right now, Impartial. Yeah. It's the best key. That's a good word to use, yeah. Next question. What is uh, the least favorite part of training? Leaving uh, unsatisfied. <laughs> That's the worst. But that it, it rarely happens, but if it happens, it's the worst part. The worst part about training is training for a competition that then gets canceled two weeks later. <laughs> Peter, Peter, do you ever get dizzy? I do. Mm. Sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, go next. My hair looks so long on this video. Oh, anyway. Your worst international competition story. I think I know where you're going to go with this one. Yeah, I mean, that year was just not it. Was I don't it? think it was the year. It was... Yes, it was! Wait, which uh, competition are you talking about? The, the Oberstdorf. Yeah, but it wasn't that year. We got a medal at a Grand Prix. That year. Yes, we did, but then at nationals, I messed up Twizzle in a short, and then when we went to, we got super sick. We definitely had COVID. That was like we before had, like, COVID, COVID started, before COVID. but we definitely COVID. had COVID because I was, I was dying for like two weeks. We did nationals, and was it that weekend after? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we both I were couldn't. Like I was still sick when I was competing in Oberstdorf, and we were fighting for that world spot against I All used the, top teams. To, the, the OG. Teams, which is Natalie and Bruce, Miko and Tyler, uh, and Emmy and Aisa, and we just didn't make it because I fell twice in the program, which is probably the worst I've ever done. Thank you for this question. Uh, we think it's a great question. First impressions of each other versus now. How did partner tryouts go? What was your first impression of me? Because I changed a lot. Since. How far away are you? Because you were really quite small when I first saw you. I was like, where is she going? She I was like, really short. Yeah. yeah. I was what, like five feet tall? You gotta have been just five feet. Five feet, and I was like 70 pounds. And which... I was not far off what I am now. I was yeah. about five, eight. Five yeah. Nine. So I grew into it. Yeah. Like for me, my first impression yeah. was that you were extremely shy. And like, even for me, who didn't even speak English, I was like, this dude, you were not. This, this is the way he would speak. He actually talks really loud now, but this is what would be like... I'm like... Uh, excuse me? Like, I don't understand what you're saying. You know, you were really quiet. And then I would yell at him for being quiet. And then, and then my other impression, this is a few weeks into skating already together. He, you fell, you started crying, and I told you, I told you, and I looked at you like, like men it. don't cry. <laughs> men do I, not I do cry. Remember, I you said, no, I remember there was <laughs> not an inch, inch or ounce of sympathy when you No, I was like, just baffled. I was like, I, I think I cut myself or something. Oh, I, do I care? I, think I, I don't. Myself. And I was like, ah. Anyways, yeah, you changed, like, you're a whole new man. Anyways, and the tryouts, like we said, went amazing. Oh, and I didn't say impressions of you now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, you changed <laughs> ma massively. Like, 
from like your fortieth birthday when you were dancing, like doing all the TikTok dances, whatever you know. Uh, what do you think that is? I think maturity. I just, well, it's not even the I'm just growing up. Yeah, I think, but it's less of growing up. It was more accepting of who you are. Yeah, I think you you more sort of like. Myself, I'm just myself, and that's the thing because you're not afraid to be somebody you're not. Yeah, because back then I would always try to like make other people laugh. It's funny. Oh, let's make fun of ourselves. Whereas now you don't need to make others laugh because you do anyway. But uh, because I'm comfortable, I'm comfortable, and so you are now. That's what same thing. My impression of you right now is just like you've grown up a lot, and you're still changing, and you're still growing like maturely. Like your brain is developing. My parents still yell at you once in a while. <laughs> oh, this is a nice question. What hmm. were you thinking in the kiss and cry at junior worlds before and after the scores? Do you remember the scores? I don't remember the scores. Yeah, of course I do. It's ninety-four point one something. You remember the scores really well. Um, I think. I mean, I was crying before I went to the kiss and cry. Crying in the kiss and cry. Crying after the kiss and cry. And you say I cry a lot, eh? Well, I used to at least. <laughs> I don't cry if I hurt my. If I get a boo boo, I don't cry. <laughs> but I cry if I'm sensitive and like, bro. The fact that we did that clean program and like, just such a burden off my shoulders because that competition was delayed. It was canceled because of the war. Then the war in Ukraine. My grandparents. All of that stuff. Like, it was just such a relief. Mm-hmm. So I was just like relieved. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> so you were relieved before and after? I was just relieved. Yeah, that's my whole. <laughs> that's, that's the only emotion right. I felt. Yeah. Uh, I think before I, I was, I'd say I was the same. Well, there's relief before and after. It makes sense. But like before the scores, I was like, yeah, I really want to make it on the. You're a bit anxious, right? I'm like, I don't want to make it. Yeah. Um, then we get the scores, and I worked out in my head that we like before we skated. That we need a certain score to get on the podium. Oh, you could see that me. is so like yeah. Put to that little bit. Put to that little bit if you can edit it. it <laughs> and you could see me. Oh, I, and then I think, oh no, we haven't. But then I realised I was a point below in my head. So I was like, oh, did we did get it? Yeah, and we I made saw it. One, and yeah. I was like, really, really relieved. Yeah. After that, it was really good. <laughs> it's a good feeling. Okay, somebody asked a very amazing question, and that is, what is the story behind your free dance this year, the red violin? So, do you want to maybe like start by st- no? Okay, that's fine. I can do it. I love talking about this. Um, it's based off of a movie, uh, the red violin, which in which really? case, yeah, I didn't know. Did you know? Oh, I didn't know. Oh my god, that's a new one. Okay. Continue. Um, okay, so basically, I'm the violin. Hopefully, you got that point by now. And I'm the player. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. no, be for real. Be for real. Okay, so I'm the violin. You're actually the master. You're not really the player. You, you play player. it, but you master, you created the violin. And in the movie, Master's wife passed, passed away during labor. And uh, he, quite sinisterly, he paints his violin with her blood. Therefore giving that violin like that special tune, special humming, humming over her voice that is so enchanting to the point where that tra- uh, that violin travels all over the world being played by many different talented uh, violinists. It's a famous violin. Yeah, and it was just so amazing that it took each violinist to their grave because they were so connected to that violin that they couldn't live without it. So our whole story of our program just tells the story of how the violin traveled around the world, being played by many different um, masters. Po- exactly. Yeah, and it's just it's very sad and it's a very deep, and it you know you can kind of see that story differently. Everybody pers- everyone interprets it differently. Yeah, exactly. But there's there's different nuances in like that for us, different parts of it that you know tell a different emotion, different character. Yeah. You know, it's very complex. And, and the music helps us with that in the sense that there's with the different pieces like the elegy in the beginning. You know, yeah, um, you can sort of 
depicts what emotions, who's playing the violin here, you know, whether there's a, yeah. they're enjoying We really do recommend for any of you like who's interested to watch the movie Red Violin because it's life-changing. It is long, but it's totally worth it. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, and if you did, you might as well... Click that like button. <laughs> Subscribe. Yeah, that's very good. Or maybe don't, but yeah. No, you, you should. I hope you guys enjoy this video because we had so much fun doing this. And um, we're looking forward to actually filming the, the final. Grand Prix final vlog for mm -hmm. you guys. I've had a haircut between that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you notice? I've had a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I okay. Awesome. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.